Welcome back to another episode of Irimakun. And as usual, quick recap to remind myself what happened last time. But if you want to jump to the reaction timestamp below, what happened last time? Started, oh, it was a Clara episode, man. Clara is so, so healing. Every time there's a Clara moment, it's just bundles of happiness and joy. She has a little bit of a challenge because Red Hair Lady is what I think she's referring to. Amity, right? I think she calls her Red Red Hair Lady, I think, right? You're taking Iruma away. I can't play with them anymore. Now, this is an important thing to dist distinguish. It's play, right? She just wants to play with Iruma. There is no romantic or loving intent. It's just platonic friendship. Or at least I think it is. Because at the end, she did make Iruma go a little doki, right? And... He said, she said that I'll make you fall head over heels from you, right? Is this the author? Is this the author kind of foreshadowing or planting the seeds early on for Iruma and Clara to be together into the future? I, man, we just, the episode before that, we had Amity and like, oh man, even like the beginning of the episode was Amity, right? And she said, Iruma, if you want to be, uh, if you need some kind of encouragement or something to aspire for, climb up the ranks and I'll be waiting for you stand by my side one day and i was like oh shit yes ma'am i'm all aboard iruma and amity right but the recency bias of just that clara episode alone man she's such a loving sister she's got like younger brothers and younger sisters and a loving mom and she and she holds them all together and they're all those little kisses and they're such a nice play there's like a nice little musical and the fact that she was trying so hard to charm iruma right they went to the sexy devil that was that seduction class right her sexy charm is like two percent and it's fine. She doesn't need to change. That's who she is, and that's her appeal. Pure, crazy, innocent girl, right? I don't want her to be like Lashes, where Lashes is like, we don't even know how it, What? When we did a sexy scope on Lashes, it was like blurred out. We don't even know. She's a, kind of like a Joe character, but at the same time, I don't know, because she was able to like use fire attacks during a scene, I I, I think, with Asa somewhere, somewhere. I think there was a bunch of girls that was like fangirl, like Asa. Anyways, the point is. I love Clara so much. I love Clara so much, and I don't want her to be ever hurt. And she's so great. I'm so happy we had an episode dedicated towards Clara. Maybe Iruma will fall for Clara. Or they were just platonic friends. And maybe all the girls will come around. And I still can't believe. I, I still can't believe I convinced myself that Eiko and Iruma will be the main ship. Oh, Eiko's just like a minor side character. <laughs> what is she doing? I kind of want her to be, have some kind of actual scenes, but every time we see her, it's just simping over Iruma with her dragon friend. Anyways, probably not a friend because friends don't exist in this world, right? Anyways, let's start today's episode. Yod! Alright. Other than Sabro, everybody doesn't really have ambition. All of Babbitt is... Uh, did you just yell that out? Did everyone in the cafeteria just hear that? <laughs> ah, that? No! <laughs> Another legend. Another legend? Who's the other legend? Eiko, please get in there! One promotion, please! <laughs> we are so standing out. Everybody, the way that he's announcing it to the entire cafeteria. Make way, peasant! Move! Why only bet? This is still gonna be crazy. It will be crazy. Eiko, what are you doing? Then you better rank up too, Eiko. Yeah, we can. That girl is always just always so pissed off at whenever there's a newspaper and Iruma's in the rank. Whenever Iruma stands out, she gets pissed. Is this dodgeball? Wait, wait we're in a gym. The way they're holding that kind of looks like dodgeball to me. <laughs> Literal dodgeball, dude. I, dodgeball is so fun. If you catch it, does the other person go out? Yay, Kirstall! Can Iruma throw? Does he have some power? This is dodgeball, yes. <laughs> Who threw that? Was that a curse or was that Clara? Whose throw was that? What the fuck? Clara? Do you have a cannon? Oh, Stavro! When did you show up? What's up, dude? Yeah, he definitely has a cannon arm, dude. Oh, Jazz and the blonde guy? Oh, the entire class! Oh, everybody's joining in. Those people without ambition other than Sabro, they all joined in. Okay, okay. Katana just cuts it. <laughs> Air blade? So there's no blade into that. I didn't know. Wind sword. 
<laughs> Cherry blossoms fall down. Oh. Ice? We're gonna see everybody's powers now all of a sudden. This guy's like rock bending? Oh! Huh. Wow, okay, everybody's everybody's magic. I don't know what Sa no, we do know what Sabro's magic is. I was like he's just brute force, but no. He's got bites, metal, and then he can summon like weapons based on the metal type. We gotta get to Amity! We gotta get to Amity! No, don't give up! No, no one can hit you though. That's the thing. No one can hit you. You're gonna last the longest. <laughs> Tell me more about this training. And then he's gonna turn into an egg and start spinning around like, Oh, my little grandson, you're so cute! <laughs> Karego. What are you up to? <laughs> We're all training, Karego, to rank up! Fuck your class! Honest training? What kind of training happened, I wonder? Hmm. You call me my grandpa! Usually the other way around, where it's just like, um, you should call me, you shouldn't call me grandpa outside of the house, but he's saying, don't call me grandpa when you're outside in public. Oh, there's the cute little chibi egg mode. Can teach us how to throw against a rock? Gramps is obviously ridiculously strong. He can probably just destroy that thing, but yeah, Yuma doesn't have power. What did, what did he teach him? Let's see what he got. What do you mean, Nibera? What do you mean? What kind of magic spell is this? The ring, of course. A ridiculous... Huh? A dragon <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> What's a... What's a Libera? 666. Six, six. Uh, you're gonna kill them, Gramps. That's... You're gonna... What? No, we're supposed to... Magic is allowed, right? In dodgeball? I would imagine so. This is true. We are always borrowing Gram's power. This is true. And like, when the magic runs out, what do we do? Charge up with Gram's battery again? And then what? I feel like... That's the thing. He needs to be independent. He can't rely on everybody to, every time. Gram's is realizing. Oh, he's developing. Doesn't he really look like, like Amari? I don't know. You're never gonna hit him. You don't need to do dodge training, honestly. Because he's, he's just that good already. Where are all these balls going? A little cute little bat. <laughs> Defense capability infinite. Nothing can hit him ever. You need to do more than just dodge. Exactly. You know, we're just talking about in terms of dodgeball right now. I'm just doing training, but everything that we're saying right now is really important. Iruma understanding that he needs to be independent. Can't rely on Gramps' magic all the time. And the fact that Opera is telling, like, you can't just always be on the defensive. You need to have some kind of offensive capabilities too, right? I mean, we do have Libera and then the dragon comes out, but we can't use that all the time. Yeah, Opera, you're not really convinced when you say it like that. But it's hard for him, right? Because he's instinctively always dodging. Yeah, this is really hard. Because, no, he's, like, programmed to just always dodge. It's really hard to, like, override that instinct and try to catch. This is... Hmm... Like, I know we're just doing it in the context of dodgeball, but this is really interesting in terms of how Iruma's gonna- Oh, it's red. Your hand's gonna be okay- Ugh. <laughs> dodged how? How did you even dodge that? I don't even know. Oh, his ears are a little- Oh, the jacket's off. We're serious now. First love memories. I'm an eat. I want to read more volumes. There's 300 volumes to read! Oh, Amity's even holding off. Wow. I bet she was like, my hell is training begins. Indeed. <laughs> Those cute stickers, dude. This is like line message app. Even the fan is modeled off of like Mark, uh, Murph and uh, I forgot the other one's name. Clara. Oh, Yuruma has his like, hair tied up in a ponytail. This is like a new hairstyle I haven't seen yet. Kind of reminds me of, uh, if you've seen Tower of God, bam. Although, I guess he wouldn't have done that in Season 1. This would be Season 2 stuff for if you've read the webcomic. Did he have his hair in a ponytail in the Season 1? I don't think so. No, it was just short. No, no, it wasn't. Yeah. Now I'm spoiling for Season 2 Tower of God. <laughs> Eat a lot, but that's never failed him. It's, 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 his appetite's crazy. 
I wonder if one day, if all this eating is just gonna go to his growth spurt and like he's gonna get incredibly jacked or something. That'd be pretty cool. Wow, look at his hands. He's, wor he's working so hard, man. His hands are so bruised. Yeah, we need to heal that up, man. Got some magic spells? You got some healing magic spells? <laughs> really? Oh, his, his, yeah. His, it's all based up in his eye. His facial recognition, nothing but just his, his, his ears. Amiri's gotta be watching at that time too, right? Oh, and then he's gonna get some kind of crazy... Yeah, he's working hard. Gramps is so proud, so is Opera. We don't need to catch, technically, but... He just needs to dodge, but... Hmm? He's not giving up. He's got a good attitude. He's got a really good attitude to train, though, yeah. Okay, we're getting close. We're gonna catch it. Tomorrow is the day! Azaz and Clara still watching. Honestly, that's impressive by Azaz and Clara for just watching Yuruma train the entire time without getting bored, to be honest. He's gonna catch! He's really getting the main character vibes back. Just the way that he says, one more, another one, you know? He's not giving up, he's training hard. Catch! Close. I wonder if this is going to somehow fuck him up later on when he tries to dodge, but now he instinctively tries to not dodge now, right? Because of his habit. Catch! Catch the ball! Opera seems to have realized he's got this. Nice one! We caught one ball out of how many days of training. We did it! Now we're ready! Because we caught one. 5-5, five, five. Debbie 5. Yeah, we need to heal them up, man. Uh, high five! Debbie 5! Yay! Debbie 5! Oh, oh his, uh, his ears are... It means he's happy, right? What a wholesome training arc. What's the catching gonna... If you catch, I guess they're out, right? I think that's the rule of dodgeball. So... That's like an offensive capability, I guess. Even though he can't... Well, he can do the Libera, I guess, once, maybe. <laughs> I hope he uses it. Libera! <laughs> and then a dragon comes out. <laughs> Next time! Execution Cannonball! And that's the episode. Man, it's gonna be such a good episode next time. Oh my god, we're gonna get the promotion exam. And it's dodgeball. Everybody's gonna be watching. Everybody's gonna be watching. And Iruma's obviously gonna do something ridiculous. Everybody's probably gonna target him. But he's gonna dodge everything and it's gonna be impressive on its own. I'm just trying to think of a situation where he does something ridiculous. Because now we're in the scope of dodgeball. Him dodging everything will be ridiculous. But there's gotta be something crazier than that, that happens. That makes everyone be like, holy shit, he really is the next Demon King, right? Maybe we accidentally do use Libera at the end. Hmm. But the promotional exam, I wonder who it's against. Surely it's not just like our class against our class, right? It's gotta be like a lot of people? Entire school? No, I, I don't know. I don't know. But this is a really fun training arc little, little episode. And Opera really is proud of it. I think Opera does see, like, he was gauging Yuma's progress the entire time. And... I think he realized too that Iruma really does have a good work ethic. And Gramps, when he when Iruma's when Gramps told him to use Libera, right? And the dragon came out, and Iruma goes, I feel like this is cheating. I feel like I need to really rely on myself too sometimes. Gramps smirked a little smile before that, right? At that point, I think he realized, yeah, yeah, you do. And I'm glad that you're realizing because right now he's just a human, right? Just a weak human in this demon world. He obviously needs all the support he can get, but eventually we can't just rely on that, right? And eventually, I'm sure Iruma will become independent to the point where. Then again, I, I don't know what... At, at least he's re recognizing that he does need to not always get bailed out by Gramps, right? That's good. That's good. But anyways, thoughts will up the next episode. If you stick around this long, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to push that my channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.